My name is Cesar Rodriguez Garavito. I'm an associate professor of law at the University of Los Andes in Bogota, Colombia, and the executive director of the Center for Law, Justice, and Society in Bogota, Colombia, as well. And my field of research is law, globalization, and human rights. My role at the IPSP is a lead author in Chapter 11, which has to do with supranational organizations and global governance. What I wish to achieve by participating in the panel is to produce some rigorous knowledge based on evidence from academic sources that will help the global discussion on how to improve uh, supranational organizations such as the UN, the World Bank, the IMF, but also other non-state organizations and networks of governance so that they're all more legitimate, more open to uh, marginalized voices from the Global South and from subaltern groups uh, around the world. In my work, I've been looking at efforts by marginalized populations, be them indigenous peoples, uh, patients without access to healthcare, uh, workers in sweatshops, and their efforts at trying to influence uh, decision making at the global level and also rule making in the human rights bodies and in supranational organizations. So I'm hoping that that experience and that kind of research will help inform the approaches that we take to supranational organizations in our, in our own chapter and in the report that we'll uh, hopefully produce at the end of this process at the panel. The most important problem in decision making and rule making at the global level is the asymmetries between the global north on the one hand, the global south on the other hand, uh, elites, grassroots uh, uh, movements on the other hand, uh, that make uh, decision making quite exclusive and, and quite unequal. So the key issue is to make those organizations and produce new organizations that are more legitimate uh, and equal in terms of access and voice. The approaches that have been advocated to law and globalization can be called law and globalization from below. What does that mean? It means privileging the voices and the proposals coming from marginalized sectors of the population uh, from the global south that have been rarely uh, been taken into account in global rulemaking. I'll give you a specific example. Indigenous peoples have been advocating the protection of their territories, of their culture, and even the natural resources in their territories for a long time. But only recently have they succeeded at creating a declaration of indigenous peoples at the UN level and have uh, had stronger voices in climate change negotiations. I believe that that type of effort that comes from the bottom up will uh, help improve uh, global norms on such urgent issues um, as climate change and environmental degradation. The type of work that I do is action research, one that circulates between academic uh, research and actual policy and activist work. What I believe uh, this type of combination produces is kind of a virtuous circle between knowledge production and impact. And I'm quite hopeful about that hybrid because I've seen it, it, that in practice it can actually have a greater effect on social justice uh, because it sort of combines the strengths of those two roles. Rigorous knowledge production on the one hand and actual engagement with the, the public opinion, with the civil society, with policy circles, both at the national level at the, and, and at the international level. In my lifetime, what I would like to see is us collectively coming to a conclusion of some sort of deal, some sort of agreement on climate change that will have teeth, that will be consequential for the protection of life on the planet and that will give the next generation a better chance of having a decent life on this planet.